I only gained 1.2 pounds in total. So that was a drastic difference than what happens normally during the holiday season for me. Hello, and welcome to From Fluffy to Foxy, a weight loss transformation and information channel. This is the end of the first week of the new year and the end of week three of my weight loss journey. If you're new here, welcome. I post weekly updates on my weight loss journey every Monday and Thursday, and I also post valuable information on weight loss, health, fitness, and weightlifting. So if you're interested in improving your health and wellness for 2024, consider subscribing below. It really helps out the channel and ensures that you never miss a valuable and informative, entertaining video from me. So my husband wants to join me on my weight loss journey. My husband saw how much success I had over the holidays, where I normally gain, if you're new, about 10 to 15 pounds over the holiday season. And this year, I didn't. I only gained 1.2 pounds in total. So that was a drastic difference than what happens normally during the holiday season for me. And he was so excited for me that he wanted to embark on his own weight loss journey. This happened at the beginning of this week when Monday, the 1st of January happened and people are looking back at the previous year and they're looking forward to the new year and they're making their new goals of what they want to accomplish. And he would like to shed some of the pounds that he gained over the last couple of years. Let me set the stage for you. Back at the very end of 2019 and beginning of 2020, my husband and I did our own weight loss journey. Uh, together and we did lose some weight at that time getting below 200 pounds for the first time in from all myself two decades and we were doing quite well and then shortly thereafter we know what happened in 2020 things started closing and we ended up getting sent home from our office jobs to work from home we used to be able to walk to work and now we were walking you know a couple of feet to our desks at home I used to average about 10,000 steps per day, and then I went to average about 1,000, and we used to uh, be packing lunches, and then we had access to our full fridge, and just the very nature of things changed. And instead of wearing, you know, nice clothing for the office, we went to sweatpants, and those have elastic bands. So we didn't even notice the creep up at first. And so now that we have the creep up and we wanna get rid of it, we're going to embark on this journey together. But I've already been on this for two weeks and he's just starting now. And he thought of this at the beginning of the week when it was January 1st, why not, right? Like everybody else, New Year's, New Year's resolutions, new goals, but what happens when you start a new goal? Normally you're thinking about it and preparing for it and getting some things in order beforehand. This was a spur of the moment thing for him. So he's in what's called, or what's usually referred to as last supper mode. <laughs> so I've already been on this journey for now three weeks and he has started this just this week, but he's in last supper mode. So he's like one last this and one last that. And it's a little hard when you have someone else trying to motivate you to lose weight, but at the same time, also saying, hey, can we have one last of this before we start a weight loss journey? Can we have one of that before weight, I start a weight loss journey? And you've already been on it for a couple of weeks now, so you're not in the same mind frame. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had that happen to you. If you've been, you know, having somebody who's not on purpose tried to sabotage you, or maybe you've had somebody who, you know, you tried to do something, but they're not joining with you. So you've had the time where they're having something and you really wish you could have it with them. Comment below how that's made you feel. And so my husband's going to be joining me on this journey and I'm trying to reel back in his last supper syndrome right now and uh, get it under control so that we can both be on the same page and going forward with this. <laughs> I loved having my husband uh, do this journey with me last time. I always found it helpful to have somebody in my corner who had my back on days where I wasn't quite as motivated as I would have liked to have been. Studies show that if you have somebody that you feel that you're accountable to, you're far more likely to stick to your goals than if you don't have someone that you're accountable to. So I always recommend that if you don't have an accountability buddy or if you don't have somebody that you can talk to about your goals to get somebody or even do with so that way you can stay on track or you've got somebody that you can talk to when you're 
uh, having trouble with some part of your goal, or when you're succeeding, they can be your own personal cheerleader to help cheer you on because it's always great to celebrate your successes as well. And that always feels good to keep you motivated and keep you continuing moving on. So I always recommend that you get somebody, even if they're not doing the journey with you, but if you want somebody to, to do the journey with you, by all means, comment in the comments below, and this community can be that for you as well. But I'm certainly glad that my husband's going to be doing this with me because that way we can help cheer each other on, we can pick each other up, and we can certainly try to lose our weight that we've gained together because definitely that'll be a something that we can uh, bond over and we can help make sure that we're both staying on track and when one of us wants to do uh, some sort of bad habit that we said that we're not going to do anymore, the other can remind us of why we're doing this in the first place. So instead of maybe sitting on the couch and binging Netflix, maybe we put our shoes on and take our dogs for a walk. So that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to, even though um, sometimes it can be uh, a bit of a drag when you know that you really, really want to sit on that couch, having that person to help lift you up off of it and get you moving and help you get to where... Uh, towards your goals is definitely something that you won't regret in the long run. So even though my husband was in a bit of a last supper mode this week, I was able to keep us both on track and maintain that low that I had going into the midweek. For those of you that are new here, I will link that video at the end so you can see where I was standing at the midweek point of this week. And I was able to finish off the week with a win. I was down to 258.8 pounds. So that was a grand total of 3.2 pounds total loss this week. As I started the week off, as I mentioned earlier in the video, at 262.0 pounds even. And that is what I weighed at the beginning of the week. So I'm down 3.2 pounds this week. And I'm a bit further on track for the two pounds average I wanted to lose every week. So I'm happy with that. And hopefully I can keep maintaining that into next week when my husband is fully engulfed in my weight loss journey with me. So subscribe below. I look forward to updating you on Wednesday when I uh, do my next midweek weigh-in. And we'll see where we're standing after the first week of my husband joining the weight loss journey. And until next time, stay amazing.